what is going on everybody today in this video I'm going to show you guys how to control your PlayStation 4 with your tablet which is your iPad your Galaxy tablets and your smartphones or your Galaxy S3s and your iPhones so the first thing that you want to do is you want to head into the Google Play Store or the App Store whichever one you're using and you want to get download the PlayStation app once when you have downloaded the PlayStation app you want to go ahead and tap on the app it's going to open up the app here once when it has opened up the app, you want to go ahead right here to where it says connect with the PlayStation 4. So we're just going to hit back here and we're going to go down here to where it says connect with PlayStation 4. Now you do need to have your PlayStation 4 on, you do need to have it up and running. This works if you're running off wired or wireless for your PlayStation 4, but you do have to be connected to Wi Fi with the PlayStation or with the tablet or smartphone, whichever one you're using. So you want to go ahead and click on where it says PlayStation 4. And then now we're going to move on to the PlayStation 4 screen. As you guys can see, it says go into settings and all that other good stuff. Now, due to Sony's copyrights and me not having a Elgato game capture card, there was no way that I could possibly show you guys this with the actual full screen. So this was the only way that I could actually get to do it. So the thing that you want to do is you want to go... You want to be on your PlayStation dashboard like I am right now. You want to scroll over to where it says settings. And then you want to go down to where it says PlayStation app connection uh, settings. And then you just want to click on where it says add device. And now a number is going to pop up on the screen and it's going to give you around 300 seconds to put that number in to whatever you're trying to register. It. So in this case, I'm registering my Galaxy tablet. So we're going to go back to the tablet and I'm going to put that number in and then I'm going to show you guys the rest of it from there. Alright, so as you guys can see it says put in, enter the number that is displayed on the PlayStation 4 screen. So I'm going to enter that and I'll be right back. That was the number that it prompted me to enter. Now this number does change every time when you hook up a new device to the PlayStation 4. And then the only thing you want to do is just click the send button. And then once when you have clicked the send button, you will be notified with a connection that has been established from the tablet and from the um, PlayStation 4 itself. So if we go back over here to the tablet, as you guys can see, it says I'm connected to the PlayStation 4. It says second screen. And if I click like disconnect, that'll disconnect it. So now I've been disconnected from the tablet and then it's now it's going to search over again. But since this tablet is already registered and it's already saved underneath where it says devices, I can just go ahead and I can just hit this button right here. And I'm already connected right back to the PlayStation 4 itself. Now here's where the controlling part comes in. What you want to do is you want to click on where it says second screen. And now you are controlling your PlayStation 4 through your tablet. Alright, so once when you've clicked on second screen, you want to go up to here and you want to click this little icon right here. It's kind of hard to describe and it's also kind of hard to get it in focus. But you want to click the first icon and then it's going to bring you to a screen like this. Now the PlayStation 4 is at the regular screen so let's go ahead and get this set up to where a position to where you guys can see it. Alright so as you guys can see here I have the tablet right here I am on that command key and the only thing it tells you to do is swipe for motion you tap the center of the screen for enter down there you got the PlayStation button over here you got the options button and let's go ahead and start controlling this. So, as you guys can see, I have the, the tablet right here. It's kind of hard to get this in focus, but if I swipe up, as you guys can see, I am controlling my PlayStation 4 with my Samsung Galaxy Tab 3. And then if I hit the home button, it brings me right back to the home key. If I swipe over here, I can swipe. Swipe through that. As you guys can see, I'm swiping through the menus perfectly fine. And then if I want to start up a game, only thing I do, tap the middle of the screen, starts up the game. Thank you guys for watching. This was just a really quick tutorial on how to show you guys how to set up your Samsung Galaxy Tab 3, smartphones, iPads, tablets, to control your PS4 with any of those devices. Thank you guys for watching. This is Form 1 to Sean. Please be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. Peace.